welcome to In My Mug episode 358 on Monday the 21st of September 2015. I'm your host Stephen Layton. Welcome to In My Mug and welcome to the news. So this week's news, it's very, very booky related. So we have a new book on the site called Water for Coffee. Now I've not read this yet because they've only just arrived. Um, but it's written by my good friends Chris Hendon and Maxwell Colonna Dashwood. Um, two very clever people who spent a lot of time looking at water. And it's $29.99, which is a lot of money for a, a paperback book. But I'd pay this all day long. And I'd pay this all day long just to kind of read uh, all of this stuff. So I think it's a must have for the coffee geek. Um, so yes, buy it on the site. Limited numbers won't be there forever. And... Uh, so last week, the In My Mug from Noega in El Salvador, we had the Pulp Natural version. There are now the two washed coffees on the site. Now I hear you say, why two washed coffees? Well, they're different tablons and different days pickings from the same farm. And I have a feeling they probably won't make them onto an In My Mug. So if you want to try them, you will definitely have to uh, dive out and buy them. Um, but if you're going to buy them, buy them both together so you can kind of taste what difference just a few, like not even 100 meters, a few meters can make to a coffee. And I said it was a little bit booky. I know I talked about this last week, but really go take a look at Standard. It is an amazing book. It really is super, super pretty. Um, this one, I think they're $9.99 on the site and uh, well worth checking out. Both books, 40 quid, um, there's you know, a fair bit of coffee reading for you. Um, it's very well written, very well presented, very beautiful pictures and a must read, uh, as are both of them. And that was the news. Um, so we're going to focus on, and this week we're going to focus on the region of Tarazu, where this week's coffee's from. Did you notice how neatly I tied my shoelace before I did the, uh, the, the, the lead up to focus on? Just so professional. So, Tarazu is the name of the fifth canton in the province of San Jose in Costa Rica. The canton covers around about 300 square kilometers and has a population of around about 15,000. Uh, the capital city's name of the canton, not the capital city because it's San Jose in Costa Rica, but of the canton is San Marcos. Uh, the main source of income is from coffee. Uh, however, tourism and avocado production are massively on the increase in the area and it's simply becoming more and more important. Um, but even now, during the months of December, January, February, the population increases to around about 45,000 and San Marcos in, in, the, in, in that time is absolutely bursting at the seams, um, being the biggest town in the region. It's become the centre of the, like, the economic activity as well for the region. Um, also, there's a, a dam, uh, which is called the Piris Hydro Dam, uh, which uh, started generating electricity in 2011. Um, it's the highest structure of its kind in Central America um, and has become very, very important to the area. Um, and this week's coffee actually overlooks that, uh, overlooks that dam, so incredibly, incredibly relevant. Um, so, uh, what else? Um, it borders with um, like another cat. Well, it has three palm cantons um, across the uh, that go down to the coast. Uh, but this is a particularly mountainous range, and you have the uh, Rio Paris. Um, and yeah, I think that's focus on. Sorry, lost my train of thought towards the end of that focus on. Not good when you do that. Um, so yes, uh, we should talk about this week's coffee that has an incredibly long coffee name. So I'm gonna break it down into little chunks for you. So Costa Rica, guess what that means? It means that's where it comes from. Don Mayo, which uh, is the second part of the name, um, is the name of the micro mill. So micro mills are very prominent in Costa Rica and this is the mill where the coffee is actually milled. Uh, and quite often there will be lots of farms that deliver to uh, mills because they're very small producers. The second part is called La Loma, which is the name of the farm, uh, which uh, is just on the hill uh, up from, from the mill. 
Um, and yellow honey is the processing method. If you don't know about processing methods, go watch our processing brew guides. Um, if you go to uh, the website and you look for uh, at the top right, there's a part that resources and you'll see uh, processing. You can go and watch uh, pulp natural stroke honey. Um, and yeah, that's that's why it's called as it is. Uh, La Loma is located in altitude of 1800 to 1950, 1950 meters above sea level. Um, uh, is uh, in Tarazu. Uh, he's owned by Hector Bolina, uh, uh, Bolina B Hector Bonilla, sorry, um, and his family. Um, and I first enjoyed this coffee in 2004, and it's great to see it kind of coming back. And the reason we got it then was part of the visit in 2013. We were already buying from Buena Vista, which is the neighbouring um, uh, the neighbouring farm uh, that's done at the same mill. Um, but got to taste his coffee and really couldn't choose between which one I liked. So when you can't choose between which one you like, you take both, right? That's what I do anyway. Um, Don Mayo has become a little bit of a famous mill. Um, it's uh, won award after award, Cup of Excellence awards, I think 2009 it was the number one place in coffee. Always kind of comes up. Uh, you always see it in barista competitions used by uh, competitors from all around the world. Um, and sought out by top coffee buyers uh, and we have to uh, really be on our mettle to keep Hector happy but we have a great relationship with him and we love working with him. So we should go through the figures. The figures, well it's from Costa Rica, it's from the region of Tarazú, uh, it's uh, in Leona Cortez, uh, the farm is called Finca La Loma, uh, ho owned by the Benilla family, uh, Micromillis Don Mayo, 1800 uh, to 1950 metres above sea level, it is a Petura varietal and it is yellow honey and sun-dried. Right, let's go look at this week's map bit. <laughs> Welcome to this week's map bit. We are going up, because that's what we do on the map bit, duh. And we're going to go up, and we're probably going to go to our left, because we do a lot of that. Shall we go to the... Yeah, let's go to the left. And we're going to be going to Central America. Like, when you have so many great coffees from somewhere, why wouldn't you keep going back there? Um, last week, we were in Nicaragua. This week, we're just below in Costa Rica. And um, Costa Rica has some really interesting coffees, um, but also has the average life expectancy of 77 years, one of the highest in the world. Also, an illiteracy rate of 96% and has no army. I think all three things are definitely linked. Um, but we're going to go down, and we're going to go down to uh, Bella Vista, which we did about five weeks ago, and La Loma, which we are doing this week. Now, you can see they're very close together. They could be... They could be seen as the same farms, but they have different typographies and different kind of varietals and, and a different kind of processing to them. So, But just look at that. Look at that valley. It is such a cool shot of the valley. Um, lowest point is the Pacific Ocean. The highest point, 3,820 metres above sea level, which is the Cerro uh, Shipara. And there you can see where all of that altitude comes from. It really is from that central valley, Tarazu Belt, uh, that goes down into Panama. And it really is just about that place. Uh, let's see where we can whiz round and see even more typography. I really do love that we've got these exacts. And I got these uh, coordinates from my iPhone from the, uh, from the photos. And um, yeah, there you can see a really good swizzle round. Now you can see the red dot just up there. And that's the view from the hydroelectric dam, which uh, I've shown you photos of in the past. And um, there's another quick camera sweep around you can really see how amazing a view it is i really love that map bit i hope you did too so now it's time for roland's daft fact of the week the japanese bank for international cooperation lent Costa Rica $135 million so they could build the Piris Dam in Tarazu. I wouldn't lend it to anybody because I'd spend it all. Roland is very tight and he wouldn't lend anybody anything. He's a very, very mean, mean man. Right, wrap you on pause, I'm gonna go and make tasting delicious drinks and be back with you in just a second. So we're back, <clears throat> let's get into this espresso. 
I know this is an amazing espresso. I'm very much looking forward to this. So I talk a lot about viscosity and I talk about the kind of feeling in the mouth and all of those things. And this is one of those great ones because it so reminds me of melted ice cream. It just got that beautiful kind of texture. When ice cream's really warm, it's like so sickly sweet. And, and this is so sweet. It really, really is. You get a little shoulder of acidity. And I think I'm going to put that down to some peach, but it's very, very good. So in the cappuccino, for me, it's a little bit too sweet. There's a little bit too much going on. It's a little bit too overpowering. And because of that ice cream flavor and feeling and adding creamy milk to that just makes it a little bit over the top. It's not my bag as a cappuccino at all. Even though I just went back for a second sip, what's wrong with me? Let's get into the brood. So the brood is a little hot. I burnt my mouth. Um, there, the ice cream thing isn't quite so prominent as it is in the um, espresso, but you do get vanilla. You definitely get a vanilla flavour. The peach is built, becomes more, much more prominent in this one. So you get a real kind of fruity, zesty, high acidity, clean, delicious coffee. And for a honey, it tastes very much like a washed. It's a very, very clean and well-processed honey. Um, and that's why I couldn't decide between them. And I took both, because I can. Right, thank you very much for joining me, as always, and do remember, life is definitely too short for bad coffee.